Hello guys, welcome back to Daddy Bagadi Na. From today, I will be starting this new playlist in which I am going to teach you React Native from scratch. Not only this, we will also integrate Node.js and MongoDB with our application. You know, the best way to learn any new language is simply by creating a project. So, we are going to create this demo app. In this demo app, I have covered almost all the important concepts of React Native, Node.js and MongoDB. Once you finish the playlist, you will not only have knowledge about the basics and important concept of React Native, but also you will know the working of Node.js and MongoDB and how all these three things work simultaneously. So first, I will take you through the working of this application, like what are the things we are going to make in this playlist and what are the functionality we will work on. And after this, I will give you a blueprint which we are going to follow throughout the playlist. So without any delay, let's get started. Let's start the application. You can see here, we are getting this beautiful splash screen. All the loading of the component are happening behind this. Once our application have been loaded, we will see this login page. Here, I have provided this mobile or email options and this password input field. From here, I can navigate to sign up. Also, I can log in as guest and Google. Guest and Google are an advanced concept. If you want, I will make video on that. But as of now, we can skip them. So let me just go to sign up page. This is my sign up page and let's sign up as a user. So I will give my name as Slayer. I will give random mobile number. Then I will enter the email. And you can see if I am entering the email in the wrong format, I am getting these error messages. And once I enter the email in the proper format, it will be changed to green color. So we are going to handle all this field validation in this playlist. At last, I am going to provide the password and I am going to click on register. So you can see I've got the message registered successfully. Now let's do login. You can see I can hide and show the password also. Now I will click on login. And you can see I have been logged in successfully. Also, I have got that loading screen. So we are going to cover all these things. So this is my home screen where I'm currently showing the user's details. You can see this is my name. I haven't updated the profile photo. This is my email, I haven't updated gender and profession and this is my mobile number. Here you can see there are two icons, one drawer icon and one edit icon. If we click on this drawer icon, the drawer will open and it is having some navigation like it can go to user's page where all the registered users inside the application are mentioned and from there we can add some friends also and here I am getting this sign out option. And this edit icon will take me to the page where I can edit my user's data. So let's do that. So I will click here. You can see it is already populating the data which we are having like username, email and mobile number. Now let's provide gender. Let's select the profession. Also I will update the profile photo. So let me just select this. Okay. I have also applied this crop thing. So I will just tick it. And now I will click on update profile. And you can see my profile have been updated. So now I have my profile photo, I have gender, I have profession. So all these things we are going to make in this playlist. Now let's navigate to users. Here all the users who are registered in our application are shown here. I can add them as friend. So I'm adding, you can see I'm getting this alert as friend added. I've added three friends. So I will go back. I will go to the friends page. I've got the loading screen and you can see I have these three friends. Let me just remove this. And you can see my friend have been removed. And at last sign out button will sign out the user. So this was the working of the demo application. And these are the things we are going to cover in this playlist. So quickly let me take you to the blueprint of this playlist. In the next video, I will start with the basics concepts of React Native like list view, style sheet, flat list, images, how the React Native works and all of that. After that, we will cover the navigation part. The navigation of the Android application is different from web. So we are going to learn that also. Once we are done with this, we will going to see the hooks. Hooks are the predefined function provided by React Native to make our things very easy. Once we are done with all these basic things, we will make our UI of login and sign up. Also, we will do the field validation. After that, we will set up our Node.js and MongoDB with React Native and we will create an API with the help of which if the users log in in our website, its data will be stored to the MongoDB and then it will be retrieved back to the React Native application. 
after this we will work on our home screen and also i will teach you how you can upload the images to a server and then retrieve it and show it in our application for that i am going to use a cloud based platform name as cloudinary it stores the images and videos and returns the link of that video or image once we are done with this we will show all the registered users in our application and at last we will create the functionality of add and delete so these are the things you are going to learn in this playlist hit the subscribe button leave the comment that you are going to start your android development journey from today also share the videos with your friends so that they can also start their android development journey see you in the next video thank you